Hello and welcome, this is Umtruth's Fight and today I'm going to be giving you my very first commentary on the 1N Gaming channel. I'm the newest commentator to 1N so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy my commentary for today and the gameplay you'll be seeing in the background is going to be an unsupported hardcore triple chem strike on Sovereign with the Honey Badger by ET. If you guys want to check out our channel links they will be down in the description below. So firstly I'm just going to introduce myself. Some of you may have heard of me over at Rush Pub Stomping. I've recently left that clan to join 1N as I feel that it's a little bit of a one step up kind of growing in my YouTube career and kind of get a little bit more notice and I feel that 1N was a great decision. I'm a 16 year old British YouTuber who spends a lot of time watching anime and chilling on social media so if you guys want to like follow me on Twitter as well then that would be greatly appreciated as at It's Trucify. But today I'm going to be giving you a live story. Generally over on my channel I don't do these kind of videos. I'm generally someone who likes to do a commentary that has more of a meaning behind it. I kind of have a simple message like some kind of borderline quote. And I generally like to just talk about chill topics. I don't really like to create a video that has kind of a commentary that has no meaning behind it. I kind of like to have something that kind of has a kind of symbol behind the commentary. But today, as I kind of need to do a longish commentary to the standard one that I do, I decided to do a life story. So today's life story is going to be set when I was around about eight years old and I was playing for my local football team at a local football tournament. And when I'm saying football, I'm going for soccer. I know that I'm British, so I'm going to be saying football. So that's what I'm going to go as that. So sorry for any confusion if you are American or whenever you come from and you say it is soccer you kind of know what I'm on about so we came across this team which had the kind of the reputation of being a little bit salty when it comes to not getting their own way and they're not the kind of team that are kind of behind in the scoreline so we were playing against a team that we knew was going to be bad so we got into the game and it was all good and well we were like 1-0 up then we went 2-0 up and we had our head so high that we knew we were going to win this game it was about 10 minutes left of the game and we were pretty certain that we we're going to able to hold this 2-0 win but then you can tell that the other team were getting a little bit salty as we could probably of guess before the game had even started and yes we were completely true they start retaliating in a way with violence one of their players one of their center mids goes and attacks one of our center mids in a dirty way he literally does a real high foot straight into one of my friend's chest and he has these little purple circles all over his chest he gets taken off the pitch and that and we're like cheering stuff like well done and all that and getting a little bit beefed up in that and I kind of didn't like this I'm the kind of person who wouldn't punch him in the face I wouldn't kind of retaliate in a way of violence so I kind of do it in a way which is a little bit sly which is doing a two-footed sly tackle and if you guys know anything about football or soccer doing a two-footed sly tackle can end in a solid crunching tackle which is a really good tackle or it can end very badly and very dangerously to be fair so it went off for a corner we managed to header it out and one of their strikers was sitting on the edge of the box he collects the ball at his feet and I'm like a striker as well so I was at the edge of the box as well waiting to do the counter attack and I just going for a two-footed sly tackle the ball is completely away from it at this point and crunch straight into his side of his ankles I most likely could have broken them I don't actually know and to be fair I still don't really care to be honest and what happens when we both flop to the floor like a sack of potatoes and then we both get up and he just punches me straight in the nose like right between my eyeballs where that bone is on the top of your nose he punches me straight there and like I said earlier on I'm not the kind of person who likes to attack with violence or anything so I didn't do anything I literally stood there and cried and all of my teammates are thinking oh shit because we're like eight years old and when you're that age you don't expect someone to be punching another kid in the face and this is like a full-on punch as well it wasn't like a bitch slap or anything like that so then obviously the parents are going to kind of jump onto the pitch and kind of sort this out and my dad goes absolutely ballistic and that he's literally on a rampage and at this point when i look think back at it it was some pretty top-notch banter to be fair the geezers that are on that pitch were absolutely nutty but it was quite funny to be fair now when i look at it but all of my teammates we kind of realize well my teammates kind of realize this is actually a, a big deal kind of thing so they all like get them in, a, in like a group hug and we all walk across the field and we end up going into like a, a group hug pretty much all the way across the pitch onto the medical part where we get an ice pack and just plop it on my nose because i know i had a big bruise on there at the time then so they kind of sort that out and that was all good and dandy and that and i really appreciate all the support that i did get from my teammates and stuff like that and the, the, the kid that actually punched me in the face he didn't really get anything i didn't get anything either but the referee who was about 16 at the time which is like the minimum age to be a referee i'm pretty sure he didn't get any kind of punishment he literally the referee didn't do anything didn't give him a red give him a yellow all he did was literally ditch the game he just ran off no one really knows what happens but if any of you guys are in the uk you probably know kind of know this that sunday league football you have like the fa kind of controls it and apparently the fa got involved and the kid had some penalty or whatever he probably had to pay a fine or something like that i'm not exactly sure but hopefully you guys have enjoyed the commentary for today remember once again if you guys want to check out et his channel link will be down in the description below and if you also did enjoy 
my commentary then it'd be really appreciated if you guys could come and subscribe to my channel i've literally just hit 1500 subscribers but my channel is kind of dead at the moment so hopefully i can kind of revive this because i've been kind of lacking motivation so joining one end has definitely been a great chance to kind of build some more motivation up so i'll speak to you in my next commentary if we can hit i'm gonna say 75 to 80 likes i'm not exactly sure what the main goal is as i'm generally quite one of the early ones to get to the channel and obviously i haven't really looked at the goals so hopefully you guys have enjoyed the commentary nevertheless i'll speak to you in my next commentary on one end unless you want to come over to my channel that'd be amazing and i'll speak to you then peace